Hello, in today's video we are going to check if OpenRadius runs on the Raspberry Pi. OpenRadius is usually executed on clusters, high-end servers, computers, laptops, even also on ARM architectures. But let's have a look at the other edge. Can OpenRadius run on this tiny computer here? This is a Raspberry Pi 5 with 8 GB of RAM. It's powered by an ARM Cortex A76 CPU, which is a 64-bit chip with 4 cores. With all its accessories here, this computer costs a bit more than 100 euros. As the OS, I choose the Linux uh, Raspberry Pi OS in 64-bit, which is a Debian 12 porting on the Raspberry Pi. The first thing to do is to flush the SD card, which is here, with the Raspberry Pi OS. And then I will assemble the Pi in the Lego case. So, let's begin. The Raspberry Pi has now been installed in its Lego case, as you can see. And the micro SD card was flushed with the Raspberry Pi OS and after some pre-configurations we can see that the Raspberry Pi has booted. The next steps will be to install the ARMFLAN compiler in order to build open radios on it. To simplify the video I have installed a VNC server on the Raspberry Pi and I record this session from my computer. Now we will proceed with the development environment and ARMFLAN compiler installation. The best to do this is to go on the OpenRadius GitHub page and check the installation instructions. Let's open a browser and go on github.github.com slash openradius. Here we are. We select the Open Radius repository and we will check the installation instructions how to build Open Radius. The armor flank section is here. So the first thing to do is to install the development environment as sudo. Open a shell and become sudo and just copy past all those commands in the shell and here it goes. The development environment is now installed on the Raspberry Pi. Let's continue with the ARM flank compiler installation. The Armeflan compiler can be downloaded at this web page. And we will download the latest Armeflan compiler, which is 24.04. And choose the version for Ubuntu 22, which is the nearest to the Debian 12. The download is now accomplished, and we will go with the Armeflan compiler installation. To do this, we will exit the sudo command and go in the download directory of the OpenRadius fan account. The package has been in copied here and we just need to untar this package And wait a moment, a new directory will be created and the script with all the installation stuff will be copied in. Here we are. So enter the directory and as sudo apply the script. Accept the licensing and the compiler 
installs. This will take a few moments. Now the compiler has been installed on the machine. All compiler files are now in opt slash arm slash opt slash arm as we can see here. We'll now perform some configuration tasks for the module system. Indeed, armflong relies for its configuration on modules. To do this, we will add two lines in the basher C file. At the end of this file, we will add source slash etc slash profile and we will set the module path environment variable to opt arm module files. Export module path equal opt arm module files and we will append module pass again as it already might contain some stuff. So just need to save and to make those changes available open a new shell. Now if I type module avail one can see the ARM compilation, the ARM files here present. We just need to load them. Module load. And the compiler is now fully configured and working. If I type armflang minus minus version, we can see that it responds and that it's the 24.04, the version we just installed. We are now going to clone OpenRadius from the OpenRadius fan fork on this machine. So I have already installed the SSH key in the OpenRadius fan account. So we just need to clone. The first thing to do when using the first time git is to install LFS git lfs install that's it and now we can clone open radios from the from my fork git clone git at github.com two points open radios fan slash open radios and here it goes it's finished now it's time to compile let's go in open radios starter and run the compilation script with minus arc equal linux a64 since we have four cores I will add four threads. And here it goes. The compilation has started. Stutter has compiled. Let's now continue with the engine. I'll apply the same command line with four threads. And here it goes. The engine has now compiled. So it is possible on this computer to compile open radios starter and engine. But let's see if we can run a computation. So first we will find an um, input deck on the OpenRadius website. 
let's go at openradios.org and accept all cookies and we can find some test models here example models the one I chose today is the bumper beam let's download it the bumper beam is now on my disk let's create a directory and copy the bumper beam file inside unzip the file and the input deck is here I will now do a tiny change in the engine input file in order to produce animations instead of H3D so oh, that's it now to execute open radios on this machine the variables are exactly the same as any Linux machine so we'll first set write CFG file and then add a directory to LD library pass export write CFG pass is equal home open radios fan open radios hm cfg files and export ld library pass is equal home open radios fan open radios xclip hm reader the ARM version so Linux A64 and I will append LD library pass on it that's it now let's try to run the starter home open radius fan radius exec starter minus i bumper beam 0 dot rat as we are running SMP today we'll set only one MPI domain the starter has run so now let's try to run the engine engine minus i bumper beam one dot rat okay so the engine runs as well so open radius can run on this tiny computer the open radius simulation with the bumper beam is now finalized so open radius can run on this tiny computer which holds in your pocket it costs a bit more than 100 euros but can we do even more can we try to post process the results a way to post process open radius results is to use the kitware paraview tool it is available in any distribution so we can try to install it and see if it works to install Paraview on the Raspberry Pi, you just need to type sudo apt-get install 
power view so just say yes and the installation process is going on power view is now installed on the raspberry pi this tool relies on the vtk animation format so there is a converter to convert the open radius animations to VTK. To build this converter, we will go back in the Open Radius clone in the tools directory where the converters are placed. So let's do this. Open Radius tools. Here we have an animation to VTK converter and time history to CSV. Let's use the animation to VTK. To build it, just need to enter into the build directory and apply the script. That's it. The anim to VTK was compiled and is now in the exec directory among starter and engine. Now let's use it to convert the animation files to the VTK. To do so, we have um, a script which will use this converter and convert any animation file in this uh, directory. The script is available in the anim 2 vtk markdown page. It's pretty simple. It takes the root name. It shows where Open Radius is cloned and it just applies anim 2 vtk on the file. Let's do this. Oh. In order to use Paraview, uh, one environment variable must be set. Otherwise, there is a conflict in OpenGL between the Raspberry Pi graphic card and Paraview. So let's set this environment variable, which is named libgl all, always software equal true. Let's type it libgl always software equal true and let's run power view okay power view has started and let's load the VTK file. Okay. Select apply. And here we are. As you can see, the model could be loaded. Let's see if we can get the animations running. And yes. Paraview can run on the Raspberry Pi. You can even do some more post-processing like choosing the fun Mises. Here you can turn it. So the Raspberry Pi can even post-process open radius results. Hope you enjoyed this video. And see you. Bye.